Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. And this week we have a special edition live from the UAV Expo. Uh, we still want to give you some of the updates that are happening, especially what's going on with the FA and Remote ID. We'll be talking also about some uh, DJI information that just was leaked. And then lastly, something that we had talked about in the past, which is Autel is releasing three new different uh, sets of drones with their version 3, and we'll talk about what they are. So let's get to it. The first story this week is actually Remote ID related, and the FA has come up with a statement that uh, the September 16, 2022 deadline for manufacturers to come up with Remote ID is going to get pushed uh, to December 16th of 2022. And uh, the idea is basically so that we have more time to get ready. And this is only for those manufacturers that have been working on the solution towards Remote ID. And uh, well, we'll see, we'll tell you more when that happens. We don't think it's going to be another pushback after December, but uh, this is what's happening. The next story this week is something about DJI and the Mavic 3 series. As you may have heard, we talked about this in the past. It looks like DJI is lining themselves to have three different types of Mavic 3. We have the Mavic 3 Enterprise. We talked about this. This is going to be a drone that looks like it has the same kind of sensor that we've seen on the Mavic 3, the typical one, but also uh, with a different type of sensor possibly and then also they're talking about the Mavic 3 Classic which would be essentially a typical Mavic 3 with a different payload that doesn't have zoom on it. Uh, this actually came from Drone Excel so if you want more information we're going to put a link down in the description and then also we're hoping for a Mavic 3 Thermal based on some pictures that we've seen in the past. So uh, DJI is really getting busy with that platform. We're thinking that this is probably a replacement for the Phantom 4 platform that we well a lot of people have been hoping for a Phantom 5. Uh, I don't think this is going to happen. It looks like DJI is going to be shifting a lot of these things towards the Mavic series, which kind of makes sense in a sense. Uh, this is a, a different form factor that uh, is a lot more portable, a lot easier to use. So, And speaking of this form factor, the last story is Autel is uh, coming up, as we had uh, hinted a couple of weeks ago, with new models. We call them version 3 models. Uh, they have a new chip. We actually talked to John McBride on the Pixel Drone Show about some of these updates. Uh, I invite you to go and take a look at this uh, interview that we did. It's about an hour long, quite a bit of content in there talking about the new models. Uh, but yeah, if you need more information about this, again, we'll put a link down in the description. But it looks like new models with also new controllers. We get our hands on the new controller, which is really cool. They have a light version of the controller, which is essentially a smaller version of it, uh, which uh, is actually fits in the hand really nicely. And then we also saw the bigger controller. Uh, and then all of this is going to be compatible with the version 3 of their drone. A new chipset, which is also going to be providing essentially better distance with the controller, a better quality image as well. It looks like they're going to be be using a different bandwidth uh, as well when they're using the controller so a lot of a lot of cool news actually coming from Autel and then of course we have been here in Vegas looking at a lot of different manufacturers from uh, small drones to very large drone as you can see here uh, with the uh, some of these shots that we took <laughs> We'll have a bit more in-depth information about this and a bit more detail about the conference in itself since it's still going on as we're recording this. So that's it. Keeping it short for this week. As always, we'll see you next week and uh, thanks for watching.